To build tank traps, sand back walls and barbed wire, we need pallets with the relevant building materials. Those pallets with the relevant building materials can be made in a construction yard. You press M to open your map and you look for this icon and you come over there and press E to open the construction yard. We can see that we can build a barbed wire pallet, which costs us 100 basic materials. We can build a metal beam pallet, which will cost us another 100 basic materials, or a sandbag pallet, which also costs us 100 basic materials. To build it, make sure you have 100 basic materials in your backpack. Select which one of the build material pallets you want to build. And let's say we do the metal beam pallet. We click on the metal beam pallet. It will show you a blueprint and you will come to the blueprint. And you start hammering in basic materials. Once the pallet is done, we need to package it so we can hoist it up with the crane. And to do that, we press E on the metal beam pallet. And in the actions panel, we click the package icon. This will start packaging the pallet. As soon as it is packaged, we can hop into the crane, use a right click to aim the arm of the crate and left click to connect it to the pallet. And again, to move it out, a right click to aim and left click to drop the pallet. To build tank traps, we need a pallet with metal beams like over here. And to start building it, we come to the pallet with metal beams. We press E to open it. We press on a metal beam. We can see that it equips over the shoulder. With that equipped, we walk out to where we want to have our tank trap. We press B to open the build menu. We select our tank trap. And once we do that, we get to blueprint where we get to choose where we want to place it. If we hold down the right mouse button, we can actually turn the structure around. And if we're happy with where it is, we press left click. We walk up to the blueprint and left click to submit the metal beam to the blueprint. We still need two more to finish the tank trap. So we come to the pallet with metal beams, click on the metal beam, make sure it's on our shoulder, walk up to the blueprint and submit. To build a sandbag wall, first off, we need a sandbag. So we come to the sandbag pallet. We press E to open the sandbag pallet. We click on one of the sandbags. We assemble it on our shoulder. Then we move to roughly where we want to build our sandbag wall. We press B to open the build menu. And then we select the sandbag cover. What we get now is below the aim point is the starting point of our sandbag wall. We can move the orientation around by holding down the right mouse button. If we left click, we have the start point of our sandbag wall. As we can see, if we pull out, that is where the starting point of the sandbag wall is. Now what is under our aim point is the end, end point of the sandbag wall. And the same goes here. If you hold down the right mouse button, we can actually turn the end point around. And if we turn the end point around, we can create nice curves like this or like this. So let's place it uh, like that. Now we have a blueprint. We walk up to the blueprint and just left click on it and that will submit one send back to our send back wall. We need two more to actually finish the send back wall. So we come to the send back palette, click on the send back, walk up to the blueprint, left click and submit. So this sandbag wall is half height, so we can crouch behind it, but if we stand, we are still exposed. We can upgrade this to a tier two sandbag wall. And to do that, we need a sandbag on our shoulder. So we come to this sandbag pallet, equip a sandbag, 
come towards the sandbag wall that we built earlier. We press F to go into upgrade mode. We aim at the sandbag wall and we look in the bottom left and it says press E to upgrade to sandbag wall. We press E and we can see we have a larger blueprint now and we need two more sandbags to complete this sandbag wall. Sandbag cover and sandbag walls can be run over by vehicles. If you run over sandbag cover or sandbag wall with a vehicle, it will drop sandbags. As you can see, there are sandbags lying here, so we press V to pick it up. And with the sandbag over our shoulder, we can build a new sandbag wall if we want to. We press B to open the build menu. We select the sandbag cover and place it, or we can just store the sandbag in a base or in a box. If you want to extend your sandbag wall, you come to the sandbag palette, you press E to open it, you equip a sandbag, you walk up to where your sandbag wall is, press B to open the build menu, and we can see that if we come close to the sandbag wall, it attaches our blueprint to the sandbag wall that is already there. We left click to confirm and we can extend it like this and make a corner like that and just submit sandbags to finish your sandbag walls. Warp wire basically works the same as sandbags. First off, we need to go to a pallet with barbed wire. We press E to open it. We click on the barbed wire so that it's over our shoulder. We walk to where we want to have the barbed wire. We press B to open the build menu. We select a barbed wire. Then below our aim point is the starting point of our barbed wire. So if we want to go along this side, we left click here and we pull out. And again, it's the end point of the barbed wire. So if we hold right click, we can turn it around to an orientation we want, like we said. We're going to do it alongside this road. So we place it here. As soon as we place it, we have a blueprint. Walk up to the blueprint, left click to submit the barbed wire. And then we just need two more barbed wire to finish the blueprint. So those barbed wire coils on the ground are not the only thing we can build with barbed wire. So if we come to the barbed wire palette, we press E to open it and we click on the barbed wire to have it over our shoulder. We press B to open the build menu and we can see that there is also a possibility to build a barbed wire fence. So if we click that, same as with the sandbags and the barbed wire coils, what is below your aim point is the starting point of your barbed wire fence. As you can see, it actually attaches to other parts of barbed wire as well. If you don't want that, you can always hold down the shift key and that will uh, not snap it to other points. Now, if we're happy with where we place it, we left click and we get the end point of the barbed wire fence. And if we place that here, we get a blueprint. We walk up to it and place barbed wire like this. 